At a property on Melbourne's Fringe, Amy's working with an equine therapist. Hello, darling. She's got old and complex wounds to heal. You know, you, you grow up in care thinking that nobody cares about you and then you come out thinking, OK, I'm going to speak my truth, I'm going to... I'm going to work my way through this, I'm going to try and heal myself. As a baby, she was placed with foster parents who later adopted her. Inside the home there was sexual abuse, violence, neglect, emotional abuse. She graduated from law school before her traumatic upbringing caught up with her, leaving her unable to work due to complex mental health conditions, including severe PTSD. She decompensated and um, has not been able to work since, probably will never work. With the representation of Angela Strenas, Amy sued the State of Victoria and foster care agencies Auschild and Uniting Victoria and Tasmania, arguing they knew or should have known the danger she was in and should have protected her. Lots of red flags, lots of complaints, lots of clear evidence of um, neglect and abuse. You learn this information and it makes you feel even more worthless and even less cared about. They settled for $2.6 million plus costs and apologies. Auschild said it was deeply sorry for the abuse Amy suffered. Uniting told the ABC it's offered both a written apology and a personal apology. The Victorian government is expected to provide a written apology. Several high-profile lawyers working in the sector have told the ABC $2.6 million is the biggest ward of the state abuse settlement they've come across. It far exceeds national redress scheme payouts, which average about $88,000. The Royal Commission really highlighted that out-of-home care is one of our riskiest contexts for children. The most recent Commonwealth data shows there are nearly 50,000 Australian children in out-of-home care. As much as it pains me to say it, a number of children in care today are still being harmed. How many times do we have to have these stories come out and people to sit here and tell people what has happened and what is continuing to happen and things are not changing? Amy severed links with her adoptive parents, last year legally discharging that adoption. I may not be physically and emotionally and mentally the person that I am because of the failure of all of these people and the trauma that I experienced, but at the very least I can be given my name back. She's doing everything she can to break the cycle of trauma. Nicole Asher, ABC News, Melbourne.